Hi, hi, it's Anneli and uh, today I want to show you how to do another little landscape painting with a little bit of texture paste. Um, I think I'm just going to do the sky and then I want to put a type of a crackle effect onto this foreground. So, um, just going to go around there. Just get all the corners. You can put on this thing, this as thick as you want. It's not really, um, it doesn't really matter. You can you can decide how thick you want to put this on. It depends on, uh, you know, it depends on what you use also. So yeah. Okay, I'm gonna make a door there, and I want the house and the roof apart. And that's all I'm gonna do in that sky. So um, I'm just going to quickly crackle that, just give me a moment. Okay, I recently bought this two-step crackle, so I'm going to use it for the first time now. Uh, step one is the one that you put on first. If you want um, small cracks, oh, sorry, let me just get this off, you do a they say you do just a light layer and when you want bigger cracks you lay down a lot of more of these. So, um, okay, let me just put on the step one first. I want to put there at the back, I want to uh, layer it a little bit thinner. And as I come to the front, I want to layer it on th thicker. So I, will, I don't know if I'm going to attempt, uh, if it will work, but I want to attempt small cracks at the back and then bigger cracks as I come to the foreground. Okay, this one is still wet, those ones are dry, so I'm just going to put a little bit of the step two thin layer onto that two back ones there. As I said, I would like it not to crack too much. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to work, or we will see. It's almost dry now, so I'm going to put on the step two, and as I said, I'm going to layer it thick, thicker, uh, because uh, I want large cracks, if possible, in, in the foreground. It's very hot at the moment and I must say this is drying very quick on the on the board so I hope I'm going to have some cracks so I'm just gonna leave it now to dry uh, I don't know if you will be able to see this you can actually there. I don't know if you can see that small cracks that developed there. But uh, yeah, we will just see. I'll come back and I'll show you as soon as this is dry. Okay, the the cracks are still developing. It's almost there. Um, 
I hope you can see you can see the cracks there it's not as small as the ones there at the back but I must say I would have appreciated if, if it would have been a little bit bigger but I think I know what's my fault um, I think I've not used the correct brush and maybe put a little bit too thin I will next time maybe use my palette knife and see how it goes but over and all I'm I'm rather happy so I'm just gonna give this a little bit more time to dry fully and then I will come back tomorrow morning and I will paint this for you and uh, we will see how it looks I can't wait okay this is dry now so I'm gonna put some acrylic inks on top of this little painting <clears throat> the colors I'm going to use is my white my yellow ochre my lemon yellow my antelope brown and my marine blue I have taken out my paints gray I'm not sure if I'm going to use it um, so yeah I'm gonna start now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna wet the area where I want to drop in the ink and then I'll uh, maybe drop it in my well first and then onto the on the canvas I will see just as I go along so um, yeah it's not going to work like watercolor paper because this is not what is it's a board with a texture on so it's going to be a little bit different Remember, it's an easy painting. I don't want to make this too complicated for you. So, uh, it's just a little fun painting. With a lot of interesting things that's happening on the board. And uh, you don't have to work too hard to get it. Okay, now for this, I remember I put the crackle on. So, what I'm going to do now, I think I've, I'm going to drop in my my lemon yellow first then my yellow ochre there at the back and then when it's dry I'm going to put a wash of uh, my antelope brown on top of this it's the first time I've used this crackle I'm not sure if it's going to work but we will see how this um, texture paste is working there that's actually what I want the antelope brown to do so um, I'm just going to try a little bit and just see if it's going to work maybe start there at the back first Just gonna make that one a little bit lighter. Just wanna put a little bit of stronger color onto the side. You can see it um, shows up a little bit into the cracks but it's not enough for me so what I'm going to do I'm going to put a 
layer of antelope brown across this whole area and then um, after that I will just highlight it with a little bit of my white and lemon yellow angela ochre. Okay, now I'm just going to quickly dry this and then I'll come back. Okay, I'm going to start with the ones at the back. I'm just taking my yellow ochre and my white. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to slightly... I actually don't want to use this inks now that I'm thinking. Just wait a minute, I want to go and get a little bit of my acrylics. Okay, I almost got the same exact colors, just in my my golden. I've got the answer yellow light. Um, I've got my white. I've got this um, nickel as a yellow. It's almost like my raw sienna yellow ochre. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of white with my, and then I'm gonna try and drag my brush. some of the areas just to get a little bit of light shine through there I still want to the, that shadow parts shining through can see it's just a few colors and uh, get a very nice little painting and it's not too complicated so I, I hope you enjoyed this if you did you can uh, just please subscribe and hit that bell that you can get future uploads of my videos 
Uh, I try and do them beginner friendly and a little bit more, um, you know, uh, not that easy. So uh, if you liked it, I will see you next time. Have a lovely day.